Kate C. Kate C? Kate C. All right. Da -na 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 -na. Are you ready? Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Hi, I'm Adam. I'm Ryan. And this is Two Neighbors. All right, so we're doing another reaction video. Uh, this one's recommended by Kate C. So thank you very much, Kate C. Um, and we're doing another George Carlin. This one's called We Like War. So uh, thank you, Kate. And if you guys have any suggestions for any reaction videos or anything like that, leave a comment down below and let us know. So let's check it out. Let her rip. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I love George Carlin. No. Maybe rest in peace. Yeah. It's the first war we ever had that was on every channel plus cable. And the war got good ratings too, didn't it? Got good ratings. Well, we like war. We like war. We're a war-like people. We like war because we're good at it. And you know why we're good at it? Because we get a lot of practice. This country's only 200 years old and already we've had 10 major wars. We average a major war every 20 years in this country, so we're good at it. And it's a good thing we are. We're not very good at anything else anymore. <laughs> can't build a decent car. Can't make a TV set or a VCR worth a fuck. Got no steel industry left. Can't educate our young people. Can't get health care our old people. But we can bomb the shit out of your country. <laughs> Oh, as the other one, it's still true. Yeah, true today. Especially it's, if it's just timeless. Is full of brown people. <laughs> oh, we like that, don't we? That's our hobby. That's our new job in the world: bombing brown people. Iraq, Panama, Grenada, Libya. You got some brown people in your country. <laughs> Tell them to watch the fuck out. <laughs> well, we'll goddamn bomb them. Well, when's the last white people you can remember that we bombed? Can you remember the last white... Can you remember any white people we've ever bombed? The Germans, those are the only ones. And that's only because they were trying to cut in on our action. <laughs> they wanted to dominate the world. Bullshit, that's our... <laughs> Because they're brown. <laughs> now you probably noticed I don't feel about that war the way we were told we were supposed to feel about that war, the way we were ordered and instructed by the United States government to feel about that war. You see, I tell you, my mind doesn't work that way. I got this real moron thing I do, it's called thinking. <laughs> I'm not a very good American because I like to form my own opinions. <laughs> I don't just roll over when I'm told to. Sad to say, most Americans just roll over on command. Not me. I have certain rules I live by. My first rule, I don't believe anything the government tells me. Nothing. <laughs> That's definitely like today. Yep. <clears throat> yep. take very seriously the media or the press in this country, who in the case of the Persian Gulf War were nothing more than unpaid employees of the Department of Defense, and who most of the time, most of the time, function as kind of an unofficial public relations agency for the United States government. So I don't listen to them, I don't really believe in my country, and I gotta tell you folks, I don't get all choked up about yellow ribbons and American flags. I consider them, I consider them to be symbols, and I leave symbols to the symbol-minded. <laughs> I look at war a little bit differently. To me, war is a lot of prick-waving, okay? Simple thing, that's all it is. War is a whole lot of men standing out in the field waving their pricks at one another. <laughs> men are 
insecure about the size of their dicks, and so they have to kill one another over the afternoon. <laughs> That's what all that asshole jock bullshit is all about. That's what all that adolescent, macho, male posturing and strutting in bars and locker rooms is all about. It's called dick fear. <laughs> Men are terrified that their pricks are inadequate, and so they have to compete with one another to feel better about themselves. And since war is the ultimate competition, basically men are killing each other in order to improve their self-esteem. You don't have to be a historian or a political scientist to see the bigger dick foreign policy theory at work. <laughs> it sounds like this. What? They have bigger dicks? Bomb them! <laughs> Of course, the bombs and the rockets and the bullets are all shaped like dicks. <laughs> it's a subconscious need to project the penis into other people's affairs. <laughs> it's called fucking with people. <laughs> that whole thing in the Persian Gulf was nothing more than a big, prick-waving dick fight. In this particular case, Saddam Hussein had questioned the size of George Bush's dick. <laughs> and George Bush had been called a wimp for so long, wimp rhymes with limp, George has been called a wimp for so long that he has to act out his manhood fantasies by sending other people's children to die. Even the name, Bush. <laughs> Even the name Bush is related to the genitals without being the genitals. <laughs> a Bush is a sort of passive, secondary sex characteristic. Now, if this man's name had been George Boner, <laughs> well, he might have felt a little bit better about himself and we wouldn't have had any trouble over there in the first place. This whole country has a manhood problem. Big manhood problem in the USA. You can tell from the language we use. Language always gives you away. What did we do wrong in Vietnam? We pulled out. <laughs> Not a very manly thing to do. When you're fucking people, you gotta stay in there and fuck them. <laughs> God, his setups are so good. Stay in there and keep fucking them until they're all dead! <laughs> we left a few women and children alive in Vietnam and we haven't felt good about ourselves since. That's why in the Persian Gulf, George Bush had to say, this will not be another Vietnam. He actually used these words. He said, this time we're going all the way. <laughs> Imagine an American president using the sexual slang of a 13-year-old to describe his foreign policy. <laughs> If you want to know what happened in the Persian Gulf, just remember the names of the two men who were running that war. Dick Cheney and Colin Powell. <laughs> Somebody got fucked in the ass! <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was so good. Colin? Oh, man. That was so well lined up. He was definitely getting wound up there, but... Oh man, that was good. Another timeless George Carlin. Yeah, still, stand up. still very relevant. Still very relevant to this day. Yeah, so again, thank you very much, Kate. I uh, appreciate the recommendation. If you guys have any ideas for videos we can do reactions to, leave a comment down below. Uh, thank you guys very much for stopping by. Um, hit the like button. What else do you have to do? Uh, subscribe. Yeah, that too. Definitely subscribe. subscribe. Thank yeah. you very much, guys. Appreciate Thanks, it. Guys.